we had maps of the fort from the 18th century that were quite detailed and they showed the streams and the fields and the fort itself in a, a way we could relate to the present landscape and we compared those maps to aerial photographs of the area today and were able to pinpoint where Mohs should be uh, according to the 18th century maps. Actually we scaled the 18th century maps to the same scale as the modern aerial photos and then we printed them on clear plastic and did an overlay and we could see just where the fort should be and it was in fact on the island we'd been looking at all along. When you compare the maps and the streams to the uh, present waterways we could pinpoint pretty well where that should have been. Then the idea was to excavate in the spot we believed it was and if it was the fort there should be artifacts dating to the fort's time period and there should be moat and, and uh, evidence for the earthwork and all those things we did find where we expected them. An excavation team from the Florida Museum of Natural History headed by archaeologist Dr. Kathleen Deegan and graduate student John Marin began to investigate the site. This is the bottom of the moat as it appears in the ground. The moat was filled in after the fort was abandoned and today appears as a dark stain in the soil. The dirt and shells above the moat were deposited on the ground after Fort Mose was abandoned. Most of the dirt in the site is scraped away inch by inch with trowels and brushes. All of it is carefully saved and sifted. For an archaeologist in the field, most of our time is really spent measuring and recording and mapping and sifting. We excavate usually five centimeters at a time, and then we stop. Precision in this case is really the most important consideration on a site. We have to know exactly where every object fits into the site in relation to every other object, and the ideal on an excavation is to be able to put that site back together exactly as it was just from your field notes and records, and that's what we try to do. So it takes a lot longer than most people realize, and it's probably not as fun as a lot of people suspect. But the discovery part is still there. For us, it's exciting even to find fragments of bones, bits of pottery or nails, which are the kinds of things we found at Mose. Because when we add all of it up and put it together, it gives us a rich picture of what was going on every day that we could never get in any other way.